Hi, this is Mike with DSLR Photo Booth. In this demonstration video, I'm going to show you how to get the slideshow monitor working. First, I'm going to open up Darkroom Booth. And if you've already done some test shots and the booth is still running, that's kind of where you want to be. So this is a familiar screen for you guys. But over here is the prints, and then here is the individual photos. We want to know where these photos are being saved, so when we open up Fastone Image Viewer, we know which folder to grab for the pictures. So we're going to choose this photo here, and these are a couple test shots. Um, and make sure that you're on the right event. If you chose a different event, the photos would change. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use choose a photo, use a drop down, and in the menu we're going to go open containing folder. These pictures for this event are being stored in computer, Acer X drive. Now the X drive is only available when Darkroom Booth is open. The folder is 2014-0203. Uh, subfolder on that is 0023. So all the photos from this event are being stored in that, in that folder there. So what we're going to do now is we are going to bring Darkroom Booth over to the touch screen monitor so that can be used and we're going to open up Faststone Image Viewer. Now Faststone is on my desktop and so inside a computer with Darkroom Booth open we're able to access the Acer X drive. We're going to click on the Acer X drive. That folder where my pictures are was 2014-0203. I'm going to open up this folder subfolder was 0023 and here's the photos that we were we've taken today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go view slideshow but before I hit play and I don't want it on this screen I might want to transfer this over to the slideshow monitor I'm going to show you the um, options that we have so I like random order and loop um, I'm going to turn off show text and then we have this option here 156 different effects to choose from so we're going to open that up and let's see which one we have fade in and out and they do give you a sample of what they look like I'm going to choose that one you could choose them all you could select numerous effects and I'm going to go OK now before I hit play, you're going to want to transfer this over to the touch screen monitor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that out, but we're going to transfer this over to the touch screen monitor and you're going to watch the monitor from the side of the booth and outside on the slideshow monitor, you would go view slideshow and choose play, but you have to do that on the other monitor. You can't do that on this monitor. So after you've chosen play, I'm going to demonstrate on the desktop what it will look like, but it'll come across something like this. The pictures of the wall aren't very exciting, but it's just a demonstration on how to get the slideshow monitor up and running. That's it for this video. I'm going to close this out. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Thanks for watching and have a good day.